Welcome to this video which will teach you about Excel Miner's Chart Wizard. We'll use the IRIS dataset which was first introduced by Ronald Fisher back in 1936. This dataset includes four characteristics, sepal width and length, and petal width and length of three species of iris, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. To create a chart, simply click Excel Miner, Explore, Chart Wizard. We're going to choose the scatter plot matrix and click Next. Now we're going to choose our four continuous variables and then click finish. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see a little better. So here we see that on our diagonal we have histograms of our variables, petal width, petal length, sepal width, and sepal length. On either side of the diagonal we have our scatter plots. Let's take a look at the first scatter plot matrix in the top left hand corner. So here we have petal width on the y-axis and petal length on the x-axis. Now as you can see there is a distinct cluster in the bottom left hand corner of this scatter plot where observations appear to have narrow petal widths and short petal lengths. Let's take a closer look at these. Immediately these observations turn red, not only in this scatter plot, but in all the scatter plots and all the histograms. So now we can see that this cluster of observations also have medium to wide sepal widths and short sepal lengths. Let's take an even closer look by looking at the actual records. So first we see that there are 50 observations in this cluster out of a total of 150 records. Now as I scroll through each of these 50 records, one common feature should become evident. And here's where we'll take a quiz. Is it that the petal widths are all very small values, that the sepal lengths are all around 5, or is it C, that they all belong to the same species? The correct answer is C. As I scroll through these observations, I see that each belongs to the Setosa species. Now let's remove the selection by simply clicking the graph. Now I'm going to use our color by feature. Now we can see that yes, all of the observations in this cluster belong to the Setosa species. But I can also see that the Virginica species has wide petal width, long petal lengths, medium to average sepal width, and average to long sepal length. Now let's start to customize our graph. So first, I'm going to remove all species except Versicolor. As you can see, our graph updates immediately. Now let's take it a step further, and I'm going to limit my petal widths to between 1.5 and 2.5, and my petal lengths to between 4 and 6. Again, our graph updates immediately, and we are left with records that only pertain to the Versicolor species with petal widths between 1.5 and 2.5, and petal lengths between 4 and 6. Let's add a second graph. I'm going to choose to add a box whisker chart. So I'm going to get rid of the first chart to just make our box whisker chart a little larger. So in a box whisker chart, the top whisker denotes the maximum variable value, the bottom whisker denotes the minimum variable value, the top boundary of the rectangle denotes the 75th percentile, and the bottom boundary of the rectangle denotes the 25th percentile. The median value is denoted by the dotted line, and the mean value is denoted by the solid line. Now we can also customize this graph. If I would like to add in the Virginica species, I simply select the checkbox next to the Virginica name, and then I can also move my sliders left and right to change the range of the variables that I want to see. Each time, my graph updates immediately. From here, I can either print or save this chart, and I'm going to choose to save it. Let's use a test one name and click Save. If I would like to refer back to this chart, I can simply click Explore Existing Charts. This concludes this video on Excel Miner's Chart Wizard. We invite you to watch additional videos to see the remaining features of Excel Miner. To speak to our technical support staff, please click the link that appears on the screen now.